Hey, it's Regina from Eat Travel Life. Today we are going to freeze our own pie puree for pumpkins and whatever else we need. Go ahead and get started. Here are the ingredients you'll need. Pretty simple. Start out by taking washing your pump, pie pumpkin, and it's got to be a sugar pumpkin. Wash it and then wipe it down so it's not so slippery. And we're going to cut it in half because we need to remove this the seeds and all the guck that's in there as well. You can save the seeds and dry them and use them to plant for later. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees while we, so that it'll come up to heat so we can just put these in the oven. Give a little force and I like to use an ice cream scoop when I'm scooping out the pie pumpkins and I find it's less mess if I get the largest bowl I have and Put the pumpkin in and just start scooping everything out because those seeds like to fly everywhere. Let me know in the comments if you have tried this or not or what your secret method is to getting all the seeds out of your pumpkins. We're going to need a couple baking sheets and we're going to uh, clean that out and then we're going to put them face down, open side down onto the baking sheets. So let's go ahead and do the second side here and get all of the seeds out. And it goes, it's pretty quick work when you're using an ice cream scoop that's uh, pretty rigid. Um, metal works the best. And we're almost done. And look at all those seeds. We can make pie up. Uh, you could roast those if you wanted as well. So let's go ahead and get this on the tray and bake it for 45 minutes and the you put it down bottom side down because you see how dark the, the pumpkins get. Those are going to get so soft. You're going to want to let this cool before you remove it because it's just super, super hot. Use that same ice cream scoop and just scoop that all out easily or you can use your spoon, put it in a bowl and then mix it and you want it to get it so it's pretty well um, not liquefied, but smooth because you're going to want to bag this up. And I like to bag it up in certain portions so that I know how much is in each one. So when the recipe calls for so much, I know that maybe I can just grab that whole bag and use it. I use the rate of two cups per bag because that's what I need for a pumpkin pie. And you can see that it's pretty well, getting pretty well mixed in there. It doesn't have to be perfect because you can always adjust it more once you're ready to use it. And then just bag it up, date it, and move on to the next one. See, it says pie pumpkin. And I'm using measuring cup there and just measuring it out. And just repeat this process. Let me know in the comments, what do you use for with your pumpkin pie or pumpkin puree? Do you make pumpkins? Do you make muffins? Do you make pancakes? Do you use it to make a cake? So many great things you can do. This made gave me several bags so that I can do this once for the season and use this all year. Pumpkin pie all year round. Doesn't that sound amazing? I don't like just to wait for Thanksgiving for my pie pumpkin. And if you're finding that your mix isn't mixed all the way as you're uh, scooping it out, you can take the mixer in there and mix it in some more just to get the bigger chunks out so it's easier to uh, measure. Let me know in the comments, do you grow your own pie pumpkins or do you buy them? With the price of them, I think I'm going to be growing them forever. Um, they've gotten really expensive lately. And there you have it. One, two, three, four pie pumpkins I could potentially make. I've dated them. If you're thinking, oh, I don't want to have to freeze them, I don't have room, you could still can them in chunks. It's a whole different process, but that's what you would need to do. Let me know in the comments which way you prefer.
Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Thanks everyone.